Hey guys, this is Sarah with Raven's Crochet, and this is my furry feline Raven. Thank you. If you have just subscribed to this channel, you are not a subscriber. You are my new Yorny friend, so welcome. And if you've been here before, thank you so much for coming back. My channel is named after her. This is Raven. She's 15. I've had her since she was a baby. She's my pride and joy, and she is one of my main inspirations for my yarn channel. She's a little whiny and a little needy tonight. She's already had her night treats and her dinner. And I've been loving on her for about the past half hour. I think she just wants me to play with her, but I'm exhausted. It is after midnight I'm filming this, but I just got a package today from Wool Warehouse, so I wanted to share that with you guys. And I wanted to show you a couple of other things and chit chat for a little bit. I did finish another hat today. I finished making this. I love it. It is so thick and squishy and warm. This is my new hat. Isn't it gorgeous? Oh, I love it so much. So I can wear it like this to keep my ears nice and cozy. Or I can raise this up. I like to raise this up some when it's just a little chilly outside. I don't need extra warmth over my ears and then I can slouch it down. I like to have it slouchy like this. So I like to wear it like this too. I can tuck all my hair underneath here or I can have my tail out or whatever, however I want to wear my hat, right? So the yarn I used for this hat, I'm so excited to show you guys. I used a Big Twist Freelance. I bought this from Joann's. They had it on their end cap at my local store. It's 206 yards, 188 meters, 5.3 ounce cake. 150 grams <clears throat> and this colorway is this is what I have left over I didn't even use 200 yards for this hat uh, the colorway is called red multi and this is a number four worsted weight yarn 100% premium acrylic now I do have a tutorial for this hat I recently uploaded to this channel I will leave that link in the description box below you're welcome to check it out it is super easy even a beginner can do this. What I like most about this hat is it saves you yarn towards the top. There's not as much bulk up here and it saves your it saves your yarn instead of doing double crochet stitches all throughout. The last three chains and stitches up here, I just do three single crochet. It saves yarn and makes it less bulky, a lot easier to stitch up actually. And I love it. So it's funny though, the way this yarn is, it's not just any standard premium acrylic for worsted weight Aran yarn. This is definitely a chunky four. So it's it's very, very close to a number five bulky weight yarn. Here is the thickness right over my finger. This is a very, very chunky four. I used a five millimeter hook, which gives these tighter stitches with this chunky your four weight yarn. You can, of course, go down to a 4.5. I would not recommend using anything smaller than a 4.5 millimeter hook. You can also go up to a 6.5 millimeter hook. Of course, with me, I used a 5 millimeter hook. Now, if I were to make like a scarf with this, um, you can make a lacy scarf with a smaller hook, and it'll still give you smaller holes in your project. If you want like a fancier stitch, use a smaller hook to, to, go, to go with your lace stitch. Um, and you can just play with it, do a couple of swatches on a couple of different yarn hooks, um, with a yarn, a couple of different yarn crochet hooks to see which thickness and, um, which swatch you like better, depending on the bulkiness of the stitches and the spaces throughout in between your stitches. So, and again, I used a 5.0 uh, 5 millimeter hook for this and it's perfect. There are no holes or gaps or anything, and because of the chunkiness of the four weight yarn, it being almost a five weight yarn, it just makes it super cozy and very squishy. It is so squishy and just, I love this yarn. You can see how squishy this is. And so this is more than enough yarn left over to, if I wanted to add a pom-pom, I can. And this is one of my favorite colorways. There's the hook stuck inside. This is a five millimeter hook, AKA an H or a da or an eight. 
And this hook I bought from Joann's. It was $3.49. I love these hooks. Um, I have another one in a 6 millimeter, and which is orange. And, oh, here it is right here. I only have these two sizes because I use the 5 and the 6 for the majority of the time. The only thing I don't like about these hooks is the, um, the size is stamped on. And you see I've used this one a lot, and it's pretty much faded off. I can barely, barely tell what size this is. But, since I only have two of these, a, f a five and a six, I know which one is which. Um, I didn't buy the whole set. And if I buy one more, it'll be a four millimeter hook. So, I love these hooks. I'm more than likely going to buy another one and the five millimeter hook because that's the most common size. I might buy a five and a six and give them in a future giveaway. Um, just like I did with my tulip hooks I bought from Ice Yarns. Um, I love a hook so much, I would like someone else to have an opportunity to use those hooks if they wanted to. So I got this hat done and I'm working on another one right now. I'm using um, acrylic yarn from Hobby Lobby. This is the colorway. Gorgeous. That's the brim. And this is what I mean by doing three single crochets instead of um, double crochets throughout. It gives it a smaller band up top and it makes it want to curve inward into a circle by the time you reach your 32 rows. Um, it just gives it that nice curve. You, you see that? So it gives it a better shape at the top of the hat, makes it easier to stitch closed, saves your yarn, cuts down on the bulk. And when I take my darning needle and I sew across the top of the hat to close it, I just go underneath two stitches each time. Again, I'm using um, acrylic yarn from Hobby Lobby. I love this yarn. This is $5 a skein. Um, this is colorway aqua black and I'm using also using a five millimeter hook for this it's a five ounce skein 142 grams 252 yards 230 meters and this big twist freelance I forgot to mention was $6.99 at Joann's and I had a um, it was on sale for 25% off I, I'm not doing that math right now but um less than six dollars I paid for this yarn which is amazing I bought this bag from Walmart this was in their party uh, gift bag section for Halloween I just I love I saw this and I was like oh, llama <gasps> Halloween my favorite holiday oh my goodness now I know I'm not doing a lot on my channel to celebrate Halloween and I apologize for that I'm mainly apologizing to myself because it is absolutely one of my favorite um, holidays to celebrate but that doesn't mean I'm still not celebrating on my own with this bag. Um, I did buy a wine, a plastic wine glass. It's dirty right now, otherwise I would show it to you. And I keep forgetting to show that to you. Um, I have so many sugar skulls and skull things. I opted for something different this year. The, the, um, it's a stemless plastic wine glass and I put my malt beverages in it. I freeze it for a couple of hours so it's nice and frothy like a Slurpee. I love my malt beverages like that. Or I will put wine in it and I will freeze some grapes and I will use those frozen grapes for ice cubes in my wine so that way my wine doesn't get watered down. Genius, right? Life hack. I love life hacks. So the, anyway, the image on the wine glass I chose is, um, I think it's a crystal ball with an eye on it and it says, I'll put a, I'll put a spell on you. Because that is one of my favorite Halloween songs sung by Bette Midler in the movie Hocus Pocus. And I love the way she sings it. She's such a good singer. So anyways, this is Happy ha Halloween. Isn't it so cute? So I'm obviously using it as a project bag. And the yarn I have in it, um, I have yet to do a tutorial for this. This is the um, Stylecraft Amour. And the package I got from Wool Warehouse today has some more of this yarn. So I could complete my scarf and hat set. I might make a hood. I saw um, a beautiful pattern by another podcaster I'm going to try. And this is a, I think it is also a number four worsted weight yarn. Let me double check. It's pretty bulky as a four weight. 60% premium acrylic, 40% super wash wool. Still washable and very, very warm. It's called, the colorway is called Dusk. It's 100 gram donut. Comes in donut form anyways. I'm still trying to find 
the size of the yarn and I'm just not too familiar with these labels to find it so quickly. Machine washable, cool tumble dry, made dry clean, cool iron. It's got the stitch grade on it and the recommended hook size is 5mm crochet hook, 5mm knitting needle. Approximately 240 yards, 200, excuse me, 240 meters, 262 yards. Okay, Aaron weight. It doesn't have a number, but it does say Aaron weight. That means it's a four. But this is, to me, it kind of looks like a chunky four. I don't know. What do you think? To me, it looks like a chunky. Gorgeous colors, though. I love these colors. So gorgeous. So I got two of these in here right now. I'm going to use a 6.5 millimeter hook. I just have a plain general ergonomic hook. It's a 6.5, otherwise known as a K or a 10.5. This is the yarn I'm going to use that double V stitch for. The two double crochet, chain one, two double crochet, skip three chains, repeat, and then the next row you're going to, you're going to chain three. That's going to count as your first double crochet. And then you're going to chain two, ch um, excuse me, double crochet twice, chain one, two double crochet again into each chain one space across the row. And then you will end with a double crochet. And the multiple for this stitch is four plus three. The multiple for this stitch again is four plus three. And that plus three will count as your first double crochet on your first row. Uh, I have been asked about that. So this wool warehouse bundle I got, I paid only three extra dollars to have it shipped fast from through a DHL shipping because this came all the way from the UK and I didn't want to wait two weeks for it to get here. So it, I don't, I didn't think it would hurt to spend another extra three dollars just to get it shipped sooner. Since I really want to get this tutorial out for you guys on that stitch, I, I wanted this to get here fast. I'm only making this blue hat and one more hat and just a solid plain gray color and then I'm done. These hats by the way it only took me two hours. Two hours. The quickest fastest hat I've ever made. I highly recommend you make one. At least one for yourself or gift it. You'll love it. This is my first shipment from Wool Warehouse. I'm so excited. I wanted to open it with you guys. I didn't want to open, open it by myself and then come back but oh Hey, look what they sent it in. I love these bags. I'm collecting these bags to fit finished crochet items in here for Christmas gift giving. Super excited. I'm so excited. Okay. They sent me some love. I have no idea what this is. It says accessories and clothes. I have no idea what this is. I've never ordered from them before. Before now. And yes, they've got prices on everything I ordered. Awesome. So the dusk yarn I ordered, I ordered six balls, six donuts. So $26.94 for six donuts. Anyone have a calculator? I think it was maybe $6.54 roughly for each ball. I could be off a little bit, but... 36 Okay, this is in UK dollars. $26.94 in UK dollars, which is a little bit higher. Um... For US dollars, it's a little bit higher, so I think I'm another $10 for that. I'm just going to tell you what it says on the label. So I got six more of these donuts. And this, again, is Style Craft Amour. 100 gram donuts, Aaron weight yarn, and the color Dusk. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. They were all out, um, what's the, uh, Lovecrafts. Lovecrafts. I ordered their last two donuts and all I did was I went to my Google taskbar on my cell phone and I typed in Stylecraft Amour Dusk, which is the colorway. Boom. Wool, Wool Warehouse was the first link I saw and I saw that day, which is last week, they had 31 cakes or 31 donuts left. Um, I recommended them to a, another yarny friend. She was able to order five so they might have like around 20, 20 something um, of these donuts left. If you're interested, these are on Wool Warehouse. If they are out of stock at this point, then um, I think you might be able to leave your email address so you can be notified when they have more in stock. So six of those. And then I got, I did some searching on their website because I had never ordered them from them before. 
and I wanted to see what else they had. So I saw this colorway. Very gorgeous. Look at this. Turn my little side light on here. Isn't that gorgeous? Look at that. Isn't that pretty? It's so pretty. Let me put it on the middle. The middle. There's the desk again in the bright light. Pretty, pretty, pretty. So gorgeous. I love this. Just want to go through and just see all the colors. So gorgeous. This one is called Dream Catcher. It is by Stylecraft. I've never ordered or worked with this yarn before. There's the center pool ready for me right there. This is a DK weight. It's 90% premium acrylic and 10% wool. Some of my yarn just fell off the table. 435 meters, 476 yards. I got two of these, so this will give me plenty to make a really nice um, shawl or whatever. Oh, and it's got a free pattern on the reverse side of this bull band. That's always nice. It says they recommend an eight, oh, a four millimeter knitting needle. Of course, I'm gonna use crochet hook because that's how I roll. Uh, it says it's got a P with a circle around it, which means you can dry clean this. You can apply a cool iron to it. Of course, I would never touch any yarn, no matter what fiber content it is. I would never touch an iron to any yarn. Um, I would put a cotton, a very thin cotton cloth over it and maybe just do some light presses here and there, or I would just let the iron hover. Better yet, I have a small steamer I keep in my bathroom. That's for what I use when I get a wrinkles out. It's just a steamer. Uh, let's see, 30 degree, mount machine washable, cool tumble dry. That's always a plus one. You can easily take care of it. And this colorway is called, it's made in Turkey. This, oh, call, this colorway is called Chinook. C-H-I-N-O-O-K, Chinook. And one thing that's good about their um, website is the fact that when you choose the colorway that you want, you can also decide if you want the same dye lot, which most crocheters, I would imagine, do want the same dye lot. Um, or it also has an option to where it doesn't matter. Just surprise me or choose for me. I really don't care. I'm a, um, I'm a lazy crocheter. I like simple, simpler projects, simple stitches. I don't do a, a lot of that heavy cable stitching and stuff. Um, mainly because... I don't know. I'm just a lazy crocheter. I might at some point when I'm older, but I'm having fun with what I'm making right now, and I have enough to keep me going for about two years, everything I want to make. So, but of course, I always see New York on the along the way. So aren't these gorgeous? To me, this just reminds me of a peacock. I thought about maybe getting some kind of gold or something that might coordinate with these colors well, and that, and that would be gorgeous works together. Or maybe some gold lace weight um, sparkling yarn. That would, that would be so gorgeous, like peacock colors. And this is soft, too. It's really nice and soft. As Crystal would say, this is extremely uh, scarfable. Oh, I can't wait to work with that. So I got two cakes of those. And then I have never tried this before. These are donuts. These are, um, this is called Drops Sky Mix. Super soft in baby alpaca and merino wool. It does get super cold here in Oklahoma, and we are expecting um, to receive some Arctic air um, per the meteor uh, meteorologist here. Last year, this last past February, it got down to, if I remember correctly, it got down to like negative 10 degrees, and I unfortunately had to walk home in that weather. I had frostbite on my nose. On my face cheeks by the time I got home. Everything else is covered up. I bundled up really warm. Um, but I didn't have a ride home that night. Um, I couldn't take my scooter because there was way too much ice and frozen snow on the ground. So I walked home, which only took me about half an hour. I'm very close to work. It took me about half an hour, but I ended up with frostbite. So I wanted to invest in some alpaca this year um, just to see if that would help keep me warm. And, um, yeah, it, so far, it, so far, I mean, this is so soft. Oh, my goodness. So soft. Uh, this is, I'm not familiar with this label here either. Let's see. 74% alpaca, 18% polyamide. That's one reason why it's so soft. 8% wool. This is, of course, hand wash. 
lay flat to dry. I don't mind doing that for a couple of occasional items. For the most part, of course, I do want easy care, washable and dryable crocheted items. But this is, I couldn't resist some alpaca this year. So what else can I tell you about this? Let me just take this whole entire label off. I don't mind. Let's see here. You can hand wash it, do not dry, lay flat. You can have this dry cleaned. For washing purposes, keep all labels until garment is finished. Follow the washing temperature. Don't use too much detergent. Wash with inside out. Don't let the garment soak. Don't use fabric soap. Okay, these are good tips. Don't use too much detergent. Wash with inside out. Don't let the garment soak. Don't use fabric softener. Gentle agitation only. Dry flat. Okay, so we know it is polyamide, alpaca, and wool. I'm not seeing the size weight of the yarn. And I'm not seeing how many yards are... Okay, here we go. Weight length, 50 grams. 1.8 ounces, 190 meters, 207 yards. I need a new pair of glasses pretty bad. I actually need a new prescription pair of glasses. Um, I started wearing glasses in 2014 in December. And I had them for about three years. And then they broke. And I've been too lazy to get another pair of glasses. Yeah. I'm responsible, but I'm not 100% responsible. I'll just throw that out there. I do have some confessions. But... I'm pretty much farsighted, I can, if that makes sense. I can see things close to me, but I can't read things far away. Um, for the most part, my eyes don't bother me without the glasses. I can still read things. It's just every once in a while, my eyeballs get a little fuzzy. So anyways, um, I don't see a yarn size. I just see the contents and the, and the yards, 207 yards, like I said. Anyways, I'm going to hold this up if I can stop brambling. I would say this is maybe close to a four. Man, it's definitely between a three and a, four, and a four, but it's closer to a four. And this is a gorgeous colorway. Um, that's, what, that's something else I was looking for was the color name for this. It says color 08, Dialot 3016. What does my um, invoice say? Raven is chewing on the poly bag. This came in, by the way. Drop Sky Lavender Mix. This is a very dark lavender. It looks more gray to me, though. What do you What do you think? It looks It looks more grayish to me than it does lavender. But I am filming at night here. It's twelve thirty-five. About. I can see a little purple in it, just a little bit. That's its true color right there. That's its true color. And the sunlight, you would more than likely see more purple. But this does have like a lot of a gray tone in it. But this is so soft. And I think I got three of those. No, I got two of these in the lavender. And this other one I thought would complement it well. I was thinking about doing some stripes or something. Oh, hair fiber. The other colorway I got, oh, was pearl gray mix. Okay, so I got a pearl gray, one pearl gray, and then two lavender mixes. So I thought these would complement each other very well. So 207 yards, this will give me more than enough to make a really nice warm scarf. Or maybe even a hooded scarf. I think that would be perfect. And these gorgeous colors, I love these. And this is, oh my gosh, this is so soft. If you have not worked with drops sky mix from wool warehouse i haven't worked this up yet obviously but i've it's like the first the first donuts and the major alpaca i have ever ordered and oh my gosh i cannot wait to work this up okay so that's pretty much all i got there's my other donuts of this i got six of these but like i said uh let's see what what accessories they sent me says accessories included. Let's see what they sent me. Okay, we need scissors. Scissors, scissors, scissors. Okay. Oh, I ordered these. 
<laughs> I completely forgot that I ordered these. It's like, doo -doo -doo. it's not a freebie. You actually order these. <laughs> very, very thick. Very thick packaging. I like this a lot. I'm going to save this to mail something to somebody. This is really, really nice thick padding. All I need is some packaging tape and your address. And I can send somebody something. Okay. And your address and I can send you something. It'll be one of you, your new friends, that I've put something in that. It's, well, I have something else to show you guys, too. Let me put it in my lap so I don't forget. I have something else to show you guys. Okay, so I got one for me and one for you. Look what I got. Look what I got. I got some little stitch markers. Oops, they're backwards. They're not both. They're not both sided. They're only one sided. If I can make them stay the right way, <laughs> look. They're stitch markers. They look like yarn skeins. And if these were any greener, you could smoke them. Just kidding. Just kidding. <laughs> I do. Um, I do promote 420. It has helped me a lot. Even though I am not renewing my medical marijuana card, I am not. Because smoking too much made me sick. It made me throw up quite a bit. So every rare once in a while, maybe like once a month, twice a month, my friend Wendy will come over and then she'll share her carts with me. But I don't smoke anymore every day. It made me too sick. So anyways, I got one for you and one for me. These are so adorb. All they had was... um. They only had these in the color green, which I'm okay with. It just, it reminds me that, I, that I'm that i all for 420. 420 friendly. So these are cute, and it says Yarnistry right there on the ball band in the middle. You can't probably see it on my camera, but it says Yarnistry. Here's the information on the back if you want to check out their website. I hope you guys can see that. It's um, yarnistryshop.co.uk. They are on Facebook and on Instagram. So one for you, one for me. These will be in a giveaway. One of them will be in a giveaway. So I got to go because my battery is about to die, apparently. Um, it says battery too low to use flash, which is fine. I don't need the flash for this video. Um, but, um, the one last thing I have to show you guys, I ordered on Amazon. I got these metal crochet hooks because they are in purple and then it's like my favorite color, purple or really dark burgundy colors. I thought about maybe sharing these with somebody. I'm not sure yet. I've never used these hooks before. They come in a size. Let me see here. The smallest hook size is a 2.5 millimeter hook, and the largest size is a 6 millimeter. So I got a 2.5, 3.5, 4.5, 5.5, then I got a 3, 4, 5, and a 6. Eight sizes. So I think I might want to do a, a review on these at some point um, where I'm making swatches with a couple of these hooks. And maybe comparing them with one of my other favorite hooks, uh, like this one. Because they both have places for your thumb to sit flat, just underneath the uh, hook. Um, these are plastic handles. They've got an interesting shape to them. Just kind of hold one up so you can see it. So there's the hook. And I'll spin it a little bit so you can see how it's shaped. I thought they looked really, really interesting, especially because they only have them available in this color. But the only downside I'm seeing so far is that these sizes are printed. This is the six millimeter hook. Excuse me, this is a 5.5 millimeter, AKA nine. And I'm thinking that after wear and tear and using it, that this might rub off. So I don't know. And I hold a knife grip and they would stick out like that, so I'm not sure how they would feel as I work. You know? If I'm not comfortable using these, I will send all of these off to someone else to see if they would like them. If I do like them, I will. I more than likely might split them in half. I might send four of them to someone else. Um, the 2.5, 3.5, 4.5, uh, 5.5, 
or the three, four, five, and six so that you have even increment um, hook sizes. I'm not sure yet though. I have to play with these and fidget and see. And I also want to clean them off with, with alcohol before I send them off without rubbing the number size off, of course. But I always um, think it's nice to clean hooks and stuff before send, sending them off to somebody. Because a lot, a lot of times when hooks are made, some factory residue can get left on them and they may not be as smooth to work with. Plus, they, they're going to be in my house for who knows how long. So it's, it's always nice to have something cleaned before sending it off. So that's all I have for now. I will be back with more though. So stay tuned. Thank you so much, so much for being my yarny friend. And thank you for bearing with me and, and just sticking around and liking my channel. Oh, I did get some happy mail t um, a few days ago. I've been emailing and coordinating with her. I think we're going to do a yarn swap here pretty soon. She wants some um, ice yarns to try out and I have tons of it I'm willing to send out. Um, but instead of happy mail, she sent me some happy money. <laughs> Literally, she sent me some happy money through PayPal and I graciously accepted it. And um, she's from New Hampshire, um, one of my fantastic yarny friends. Hello, if you're watching, I still need to talk to you about the yarn swap and I need to coordinate with somebody else. They've been sending me pictures of their work. Very, very gorgeous work. I love seeing other people's work. Um, I've actually been following Franny's um, channel and seeing everyone's show and tell. That's always so exciting. I, just, I, I, can't, I can't do that though. I do not have the patience to go through picture after picture after picture, even though I would love to see them all in my personal emails. I just don't have the patience to put all that together like Franny is doing. So Franny, if you see this, I'm so glad you're doing the show and tells. I have yet to send you photos myself. I have not. I've just been showing everything here on my channel. So we'll see. We'll see if I send you pictures of something. But um, keep it up, Franny. I love your channel. Um, she's also getting ready to hit 3,000 subscribers. And she's already doing a yarn giveaway for that. So if you don't know, if you don't know, um, if you're not familiar with Franny at Franny Square, go check her out. I will definitely leave her um i will definitely leave her channel link in the description box below too because she is awesome she's a very very nice sweet lady and um i just love watching her she's great at her tutorials and everything way better than me for sure i can only do little short ones i have a very 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 short attention span for technology so i do apologize about that but um raven and i are gonna go now i'm gonna get ready for bed Thank you so much, guys, for watching. I hope you all have a great week. And today's Monday. It's my Friday. So this Tuesday is kind of my Saturday. But I only have one day off. I go back to work Wednesday, and then I have another day off, and then I go back to work. It's always different. So, all right. Thank you, guys. You all have a good one. I'll see you later. Love you all.